All right, everybody, welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday. And today's video, we're working on the 96 GTS behind me and showing you how to go about dealing with the dreaded door sag that these cars are known for. So it's a really straightforward process. You just have to remove one body panel and adjust the door hinge. Let's go ahead and jump on in and show you what's involved in that process. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is remove this body panel here, which is secured with four mounting bolts. One here, one here, one here, and the fourth one, is underneath here behind the door. So we'll go ahead and get those removed. Now, one thing you need to be careful of when you're doing this is take note of your body shims. Since these were hand-built cars, they have various amounts of shims holding the panel in its right place. So you just wanna make sure that wherever you take the shims out of, you put them back so that way you don't have a problem with fitment later. So here's an example of the shim pack on the front bolt there. So now that you've got the body panel off, you can go ahead and get access to the hinge bolts. Now if you're gonna do this work by yourself, what you can do is use a floor jack and just barely put contact to the door itself. And then what you wanna do is slightly loosen a couple of these bolts. And then once you've got them just slightly loose, apply a little bit of pressure to the door or to the jack to lift the door up just a hair and then tighten everything back up and check your alignment and repeat that process until you get the alignment that you want. And I should mention these are 13 millimeter bolts. And after you get your slight adjustment, go ahead and snug the bolt back up. Let the jack down. Let's see how the adjustment's done. And once you get the adjustment where you like it, just cinch them down, make sure they're good and tight. All right, and that's how I go ahead and adjust the door sag out of these cars uh, by myself. I do have to say though, it is easier if you have a second person helping you out because they can take the place of the floor jack. And what you just do is have a friend hold up the back of the door, putting some pressure on it, light pressure. And then while they're doing that, you go ahead and take the hinge bolts loose. And as you watch the, the hinge rotate just slightly, go ahead and tighten it back up and check and see how that alignment does and go ahead and repeat the process if you need to adjust it further. And if not, just call it a day at that point. Uh, but it is a lot easier if you have a second person uh, doing it. I went ahead and just knocked it out by myself because I didn't have that much adjustment to do and I've done it before on these cars. So it was pretty straightforward for me to do it that way. But I have to say, it is faster and easier if you have a second person helping you out. So if you found this information useful, as always, smash that like button, give me that thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously with that YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you wanna be kept updated with all my future uploads, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell as well so that way YouTube will keep you up to date with all my future uploads. And as always, guys, I will see you the next video.